Hey everybody, Ramsey here with the Rajathon YouTube channel. And as I said, I'm not going to have um, video for the next little while while we're doing some room renovations. So this is some gameplay of a game that I've really been enjoying. Uh, it's called Satisfactory. Really, really liking it. It's one of the most fun games I've played in quite a long time. Um, if you guys like this kind of thing, um, just let me know. This will be a, I guess, a series overview. Why, if you're a fantasy fan, I think you should read Robin Hobb's fantasy series, um, the Farseer trilogy, starting with Assassin's Apprentice, then on to Royal Assassin, and then finishing with Assassin's Quest. Um, luckily, it's kind of a self-contained story. You can read just these three if you want. Um, and I think you get a wonderful, wonderful story. The prose is magnificent. Um, the way that Robin Hobb created these characters, they feel real. Um, you're getting a perspective from Fitz as he's an older man, so you get him narrating his own story. Um, he has the privilege of being the narrator of his own story, so he kind of tells you some things, and then in the same hand, he is um, giving them to you in the moment, so you're you're learning not really learning as he learns, but you kind of get an overview from him, and it's it's really enjoyable to kind of get his notes. He's kind of like an old scholar now, and I really appreciated that aspect of it. So as we start with Fitz, I'll give you as unspoilery as I can in this one. Um, we have, in Assassin's Apprentice, Fitz is a young boy. He's given to his uncle at about six, um, brought to this town in the north of uh, the country that he lives in. And basically, he they just say, hey, this is your royal bastard, and you have to take care of him now because we're not feeding him anymore. We're not taking care of him. Um, and he is treated so awfully. And it's really his life story of how he is a royal bastard, and most people don't want him. They don't want him around. Um, he is the embodiment of a mistake. He's the physical representation of this mistake of a prince that they loved. He's the the Prince William, I guess you would say. Um, and because of him, which is something you learn learn very early on, he his father actually leaves um, and moves away. He abdicates his throne. He says, "I know I'm no longer the prince in waiting, and I am going to retire quietly in the woods." Um, so everybody blames him for that. And so he's treated very poorly by a lot of different people. Um, he grows up basically being raised by the stable master, Birch. Um, and him and Birch's relationship is very, very interesting. He has a magical ability where he's able to communicate with animals. And Birch finds that very, very scary. Um, if he continues to use that ability, he will um, be killed. And so Birch tries to um, take that away from him. But because he's a young boy and he doesn't understand that he's trying to protect him, he believes that he's trying to hurt him or to take something away from him that he feels is necessary. Um, and really, it goes from that. Uh, he falls in love. Uh, he has adventures. He becomes a sailor for a short time. He becomes an assassin. He, he's trained by a master assassin who we learn is also a member of, a, of the royal family. Um, and it's just really interesting to see his progression, um, who he, uh, kind of takes as friends, um, who he takes as enemies. Um, one of the worst characters ever in, I think, written fiction is, uh, Prince Regal. I hate him and you probably will as well if you read this series. Um, Assassin's Quest ends the series. Um, and as you can tell on the cover, which I'll put up for you here, um, there's a dragon. Um, dragons in this series are super interesting, super cool. I can't wait for you to learn about dragons. If um, you're already a reader of this series and you agree with me, please write in the comments. Just do spoiler and then enter five times, I think, and you should put your um, spoiler down below. But um, I loved the way that they did dragons in this series. I We're doing a read-along in my um, Discord channel. And if you'd want to kind of see my thoughts on that with some spoilery thoughts for Assassin's Quest, um, go in there. I have them uh, all marked 
we're kind of a couple of us are in a different place uh, where we're a little bit farther back on the series. And then next month, uh, the month of June, we're going to jump back in and start um, Ship of Magic, which is the next series, which follows a completely different section of the universe. But it's in the same universe. Um, Fitz technically is in this series, but not really because he you know, lives in a whole other country. But he's technically around at this time. So it'd be kind of cool to see um, what he might be doing while we're in this whole new series. But I this next series, the uh, the Live Ship Trader series, is my favorite. So I'm excited to get, jump back into that one. Um, really, really excited for you guys to read this one. Please give me your thoughts. Share with me what you think. Um, I personally love this series. Um, my mom actually is such a huge fan of Robin Hobb. She asked me to reread the series and then review them. So I'm going to go do individual reviews um, in the next couple days. Um, I might actually do it right after this video. I might do an individual review on um, the series itself. Just because they're so enjoyable to read. And um, I think the descriptive prose and the way that um, it's written kind of as a autobiography. Um, very, very well done. I think it's one of the best written stories um, that I've read in quite a long time. Thank you guys for joining me on this video. I am really excited to continue to do um, videos in the Farseer world, um, do some reviews. If you guys want spoiler-filled reviews, let me know. Um, I could kind of do a should you read on the whole series this way in this video and then do spoiler filled reviews for the for the other three. That might be fun. Um, so let me know what you think in the comments. I'd love to see what your take on it would be. Should I do um, this video non spoilery and then the, the actual video reviews um, full of spoilers. So let me know. Thanks, guys. Talk to you later. Bye.